Welcome to Grand Junction, Colorado, home of the Lunch Loops Trail System. You'll find quite a few riders spending their lunch breaks here as any one of these loops takes just a few minutes. On the other hand, some rides require a lot of gear, which of course comes at the expense of comfort. But there's a sweet spot around two hours where you only need a bottle of water and a few tools to get by. And that's what we'll be talking about today. Products that keep your essentials on your bike, so you don't need to worry about them or sacrifice any comfort. First, let's have a look at my two-hour ride setup. Like most setups, mine starts at the water bottle. But then on the other side is my Crank Brothers Click pump. This pump has an inflation hose hidden inside, which keeps stress off the valve stem when you're really giving it hell. There's actually some space inside the handle of this pump where I keep a valve core, wrapped in tissue paper to prevent rattling. Here we have an inner tube strapped to my frame with self-stick hook and loop. A lot of people try to correct me and call this Velcro, but Velcro is just one of the many brands that make hook and loop. I digress. Up here at the fork is where things get interesting. This is my Industry 9 Matchsticks multi-tool. The Matchsticks is a through axle, which means installing it is easy. If you're replacing a Maxle, you'll only net an extra 25 grams by installing the Matchsticks. Which is impressive as the Matchsticks comes with a chain tool, a spoke wrench, a valve core wrench, quick link storage, and whatever selection of hex and torx bits you need. A few videos ago, I was kinda hard on this tool for being pricey. But for its capabilities, the Matchsticks is the lightest, lowest impact integrated tool, period. So there's definitely a market willing to pay $145 for this. I wish I could say the same for the all-in multi-tool, which fits in hollow bottom brackets and costs $110. At that price, it doesn't even have a chain tool, spoke wrenches, or valve core wrenches. This thing is bare bones. With that said, it's still impressive. Although it doesn't fit all crank sets, it fits most, and it does so magnetically, which makes it surprisingly secure. Once you have the tool in your hand, it's very easy to change bits, and it even turns sideways to give you leverage. Maybe the most leverage. But while the all-in multi-tool is stealthy, secure, high quality, and attractive, it lags behind the competition in terms of capability. Speaking of a tool that's low on capability, I'm now installing the Topeak Ninja, which is actually designed for road bikes. Why is it called the Ninja? Although it's just a bottle cage with a micro multi-tool in it, the Ninja costs only $33. And as you'd expect from Topeak, it's nice. The bottle cage is very good, the compartment is slick, and for some riders, the Ninja will be an inexpensive way to never leave their tool behind. This coming from a guy who would definitely leave his tool at home if it wasn't attached to him. Although the Ninja has the same capabilities as the all-in multi-tool, it costs less than a third, and comes with a good bottle cage. For that, I can give it some latitude. In terms of value, I think the next tool may be the winner. This is the Synchros Matchbox Taylor Cage, which costs $80. It's a bottle cage which reveals a slide-out toolkit. It features a chain tool, spoke wrenches, and all the Allen keys you need, including an 8 mil. It even comes with a tiny pump that telescopes to give you more air volume. Although the pump doesn't have a strain relief hose, I would give it a chance for its compact size. You could also swap it if you really wanted to. But one of the best things about the Taylor is how stout the bottle cage is. It's way overkill, which is perfect for mountain biking. My only complaint is that the actual tool feels kind of chintzy, but I think it would still get you back on the trail. While the Synchros Matchbox Taylor cage won't be winning any marketing awards for its name, it gives you the most bang for your buck, period. And now the crown jewel of this segment, the 1UP Components EDC. This thing is seriously well made and at $60 the price seems too good to be true. That's because the EDC is modular. You either spend $60 on a pump that it fits inside of, or $60 on a kit that lets you install it in your steerer tube. So it's more like $120, which puts it up there with the most premium tools, but premium it is. In its pump configuration, you'll carry this large but not ridiculously large pump. It has tons of volume, 
and can even hold a 20 gram CO2 inside with the tool. Ditch the CO2 and you get this storage compartment, which is probably large enough for a tubeless patch kit or even an entire valve stem. If you want to install the EDC in your steerer tube, you'll need the top cap and tap kit. The tap kit comes with everything you need to remove your star nut and actually cut threads into your steerer. Once you've threaded your steerer, you can secure your headset bearings using the top cap and a cassette tool. The EDC then slides in and stays put. With a chain tool, a tire lever, CO2 storage, and quick link storage, the EDC is well equipped. But it doesn't end there. The multi-tool lets you combine these two wrenches to make one 8mm, which you'll probably need to step on if you're doing pedals. But that little piece serves another purpose quick link removal. You might want to watch this instructional video. I'm glad I figured this out in my garage instead of, I don't know, the desert. So now that we've looked at some tools, I want to show you a hack to extend your ride time. Filtering water bottles let you re-up from any water source, even sketchy ones. But after searching my local REI and even Amazon, I was unable to find one that fits a bike bottle cage. To be clear, I mean that the bottle would need this indentation which keeps it from popping out. This one looks like it would work, but it's too wide and the indentation doesn't line up. LifeStraw sells these filtering caps, which I was sure would work. They didn't. But ironically, this LifeStraw bottle had just the right top for $45. Nevertheless, this cap fits a 26 ounce bike bottle and might just extend your ride with a carefully planned route. I'm gonna see if I can ride all day with this once my wrist heals. So now that I have in front of me all the major integrated tools, you're probably wondering if my setup has changed. And it has. On my trail bike, I'm now running the Synchros Matchbox with my custom Life Straw bottle. I love the compact pump and the robust bottle cage. I also love how everything disconnects from the bike into a mini toolkit. You probably thought I'd choose the EDC, but I'm actually planning to use that on a special bike this summer. I did use the EDC tool strap for my inner tube. You can really crank down on it. As for my single speed hardtail, aka the murder machine, it's getting the matchsticks. I use it at parks, jumps, and quick loops where I don't need to bring anything. Since the matchsticks has virtually zero impact on a bike, it's the perfect tool that I can never accidentally forget. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this mashup of integrated tools. There were some that I didn't include, but like the Richie Barkeepers, and a few proprietary tools from Specialized that won't work on my bikes. Integrated tool storage is an exciting category that I want to see grow. As a very forgetful person, it's nice to know the essentials will always be with me. With that, I want to thank you for riding with me today. I'll see you next time.